1967. General Hoagley was awarded the Distinguished Service Medal. The Legion of Merit with Combat B for Valor. The Navy Combination Medal with Gold Star in lieu of Third Award. And the Purple Heart with Gold Star in lieu of Third Award. Lance Corporal Bruno continues the tradition of the long line of Marine Corps Bulldog mascots dating back to 1921 when Brigadier General Smedley Butler appointed Sergeant Major Jiggs as the first Bulldog mascot for Marine Corps Barracks Guantico. Lance Corporal Bruno is being escorted by the Office of Communication Strategy and Operations Corporal Sarah Braga. Chaplain Corps, United States Navy, will deliver the graduation prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Let us pray. Oh Lord, we thank you for this day that you have given to us. A day by which we might celebrate the accomplishment and all that these newly minted Marines have overcome and done. But Lord, we know that their journey has just begun here on this depot, and that there is much more for them to accomplish. But Lord, we know that with their family support that is here in these stands, and that with their loyal devotion to you, and most importantly, with your sovereignty, they might be protected wherever they go, be it far or be it near. Lord, we know that we might always look to you and be reminded that you are truly Semper Fidelis, always faithful. For this we do pray and we ask in your holy and righteous name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. The Commanding General, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, welcomes you to what is a historical event in the life of a Marine. Their graduation from boot camp. Approximately 40 weeks each year for the past 100 years, new Marines have departed San Diego for service with units of the Marine Corps around the globe. The primary mission of the Recruit Depot is to provide basic training to recruits enlisted west of the Mississippi, which represents approximately 51% of all applicants in the Marine Corps each year. The Depot is also home to Recruiter School, and Drill Instructor School. All of our efforts here are geared toward one end, producing America's finest fighting force, the United States Marine Corps. This morning, Company C, 1st Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment, will form and march in the parade. Following the pass and review, the graduating Marines will return front and center of the reviewing stand for final dismissal. The staff for today's parade is comprised of Marines from the Recruit Training Regiment. The Commander of Troops is Captain Michael C. Seidler, and the Parade Adjutant is Captain Tyler L. Hay. Marching units are now being called to attention, and the adjutant's command, sound adjutant call, will begin today's parade. Sound adjutant call! <laughs> Oh, 
Let's see. Among the 573 Marines are two Marines who displayed outstanding performances in two individually graded events. Private First Class, Isaiah Deloria from Platoon 1045 is the company high shooter, scoring a 340 out of 350. Private First Class, Owen K. Bonner from Platoon 1045 is the most physically fit Marine, scoring a 300 out of 300 on the physical fitness test and a 296 on the combat fitness test. They will be receiving awards from the Marine Corps Association and Foundation. Present today is the company on graduate recruiter, Sergeant Michael Siampi. Also present today is the primary marksmanship instructor with a platoon high shooting average of 210 out of 250 for platoon 1042. That's Corporal Christian Long. Recruit training is comprised of subjects required to produce basic Marines who function effectively in garrison. Are trained in rudimentary individual field and combat skills and practice the personal and professional traits which distinguishes them as Marines. Examples of these traits are discipline, the achievement of self-control and self-awareness which assures respect for authority, instant and willing obedience to orders, and the self-reliance to maintain or improve those traits which exemplify a Marine. Military bearing consistently demonstrating military presence and personal awareness, as well as the proper wearing and maintenance of uniforms. Esprit de corps, acquiring the common spirit of the Marine Corps that inspires enthusiasm, devotion, pride, initiative, teamwork, aggressiveness, determination, moral courage, integrity, camaraderie, and the burning desire to work with and for others towards excellence in common goals. For 248 years, Marines have fought and won whenever and wherever the nation calls, in the harshest conditions, over the most brutal terrain, and against the most formidable enemies. Marines defend the ideals of freedom with grit and tenacity. Although battlefields change and capabilities evolve, History proves that true victory comes from the individual Marine with skilled resolve, the drive to overcome any obstacle, and the warrior spirit to fight on against all odds. It takes that steadfast faithfulness, Semper Fidelis, to core, country, and each other that abounds throughout our storied legacy. Marines today remain in combat or deployed throughout the world, confronting every challenge with courage, loyalty, and faithfulness. They are resolved to be the most ready when the nation is least ready. To defend freedom anytime and anywhere. To stand ready to aid those devastated by natural disasters. To pay tribute to those who have forged our proud legacy and to honor the families and loved ones who faithfully stand beside us. For the Marines of Company C, today marks the end of the 13-week recruit training cycle. They have marched countless miles at Camp Pendleton, as well as on this parade day, and have been trained as a all Marines as basic record. In addition, due to an intensive physical training program, their strength and endurance have doubled since their arrival aboard the recruit depot. They are Marines, qualified to take their places in the ranks of the world's finest fighting organization.
platoons are now being aligned from left to right in order to get them into their exact positions for the parade. Next portion of the ceremony will be our national anthem. We welcome veterans and members of the armed forces to join us in rendering appropriate honors with a military salute. For guests who have not served in the military, it is proper etiquette during the national anthem to place their right hands over their hearts and for those in the audience wearing headgear to remove it. Will the guests please rise for the presentation of the colors? Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem.
Thank you. Please be seated. At the command, post the colors. The color guard moves into position within the parade. This signifies that the entirety of the parade has been formed and is ready to be presented to the command. Following the command, parade rest. The parade adjutant will give the command sound off, which signals the band to parade forward of the assembled Marines while playing military marching music.
Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the battalion commander for first recruit training battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Roger A. Hollenbeck. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Commanding General, Brigadier General Ryans, and the Regimental Commander, Colonel Rumler, welcome to Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego and the graduation ceremony for Charlie. I'd like to extend a special welcome to today's parade reviewing official, who's impressive by the here in a moment, currently serving as the Commanding General of Marine Corps Installations West, including Camp Pendleton, where your loved one will go for their next portion of training. Brigadier General Brown, welcome, sir. Today's ceremony recognizes your new Marine and all they've accomplished in the last 13 weeks. Gathering here as individuals from all walks of life and all corners of the globe, they stepped onto the legendary yellow footprints and into uncertainty. They dug deep, they trained hard, they came together and stand before you as a confident team of Marines, the best this nation has to offer. Now, this transformation that you see here today and that most of you were able to witness yesterday did not happen on its own. So I'd like to thank those that made it possible. The foundation of their character was not made here. It was made in your homes, in your schools, and in your communities. So thank you to the parents, teachers, families, friends, and coaches. Your love, your support, and for many of our younger Marines, your signature on that contract set conditions vital to their success. So thank you. Please give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> to our outstanding drill instructors, who've literally spent every moment teaching, training, mentoring, and leading these moments. Their dedication and commitment has left a tremendous and lasting impact on your loved one, who will always remember and appreciate their efforts. Now the drill instructors and officers are able to commit themselves to the business of making Marines because of the love and support of their families who also join us in the audience today. So if you would please join me in a well-deserved round of applause for the drill instructors and the families of Charlie County. I'd also like to recognize the martial arts, marksmanship, water survival, and academics instructors our outstanding chaplain, foreman, and the entire medical team who've done a tremendous job keeping us physically, mentally, and spiritually strong. And of course, the dedicated recruiter and South Potential in your Marine. In fact, joining us from Weapons Field Training Battalion is Lance Corporal Long, responsible for training the platoon with the highest rifle qualification score. And joining us from Recruiting Station St. Louis is Sergeant Siampi, responsible for recruiting today's honor graduate outstanding young man. Thank you, gentlemen. Good work. Now, if you'll please excuse me while I address the nation's newest Marines for one last time as their battalion commander. Good morning, Marines. Oh, man, you got to like that, right? Come on. graduation. You earned the Eagle Globe and Anchor, and you earned the look of pride on your loved one's face across this parade deck. It took you 13 weeks to earn this feeling, but it doesn't stop here. We promised you a challenge, and we will continue to deliver. You must continue to earn the title every day to honor the legacy of those that came before you and to blaze a trail for the next wave of warriors. The Marine Corps will be what you make it, so never forget the skills, the spirit, and the values that have been drilled into you, and I guarantee your success. You represent the Marine Corps now, and you are the future of this great institution. You are my replacement, and a replacement of your drill instructor. So stand tall, take charge. When you get home on leave, introduce all your friends to your local recruits. Yeah. Congratulations, Marines. Thank you for your hard work and for your dedication to serve this great nation of ours. Take care of each other, 
and cultivate the relationships you made with your fellow Marine. They will serve you well. Welcome to the Corps, Semper Fidelis. Now taking their position in the reviewing area is today's parade review official, Brigadier General Nick I. Brown, Commanding General, Marine Corps Installations West, Marine Corps Base, Camp Pendleton, California. He is accompanied by Brigadier General James A. Ryan II, Commanding General, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego at the Western Recruiting Region. As is customary in military traditions, we will be rendering honors to the Commanding General. Ladies and gentlemen, Please rise for honors to Brigadier General Brown. Thank you. Please be seated. Brigadier General Brown is a native of New York and a graduate of Stony Brook University. He is also a graduate of the Army Logistics Captain's Career Course, Army Command and General Staff College, and the Marine Corps War College. He holds a Master's of Public Administration from Central Michigan University and a Master's of Strategic Studies from the Marine Corps War College. He has served in a variety of challenging billets in numerous commands to include Headquarters and Service Company Commander and Operations Officer, 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing, Cherry Point, North Carolina. Brigade Staff Advisor to the Liberian Armed Forces, Monrovia, Liberia, in support of Operation Onward Liberty. Preposition Force Planner and Information Management Officer, 3rd Marine Expeditionary Force Maritime. Commanding Officer, Marine Wing Support Squadron 172, Okinawa, Japan, and Combat Logistics Regiment 17, Camp Pendleton, California. Assistant Chief of Staff for Logistics, 1st Marine Division. Executive Assistant to the Deputy Commandant, Installation and Logistics and Manpower and Reserve Affairs. Chief of the Global Preposition War Reserve Material Branch and Deputy Director for Current Operations, Joint Staff Logistics Directorate. Brigadier General Brown is currently serving as the Commanding General, Marine Corps Installations West, Marine Corps Base, Camp Pendleton, California. Brigadier General Brown's personal awards include the Defense Superior Service Medal, the Legion of Merit with Gold Star, the Meritorious Service Medal with three Gold Stars, the Joint Service Combination Medal, and the Navy Achievement Medal with Gold Star. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Brigadier General Nick I. Brown. and review is a tradition within all military units, allowing the unit commander to formally inspect the unit under their charge.
deployed into complex around the world where we have earned our trust and dependability. Places such as Guadalcanal, where Marines worked with the United States soldiers to win the first offensive victory during World War II. Iwo Jima, where uncommon valor was a common virtue, and Marines rose the national flag on top of Mount Sarabachi. In Jong, where Marines assaulted three beaches simultaneously and outflanked North Korean forces. Hue Sing, where Marines defeated North Vietnamese forces during the Tet Offensive. Granada, where military members were a part of Operation Urgent Fury to help stabilize a local government. No way. Where Marines were part of Operation Desert Shield and Desert Storm and fought to liberate the country from Iraqi forces. Fallujah, where Marines surrounded the city within 24 hours to commence Operation Vigilant Resolve and take back the city from Al Qaeda forces. Marjah, where Marines worked with Afghan, British, Canadian, Danish, and Estonian forces in order to remove the Taliban forces from the last stronghold in the Helmand province. Even now, Marines are stationed worldwide to answer the call when they are needed. This parade has had many legendary Marines crossing, and they have never forgotten the feeling of earning their place among our ranks.
set of high values and tough standards. The most important thing we do in the Marine Corps is make Marines. The individual Marine is the Corps. That is what we do here. For the Marines graduating today, the long, arduous journey of the last 13 weeks is but a small step into the future of the Marine Corps. As they prepare to fill the ranks of our Corps, they do so with unquestionable support for the high ideals and standards of the United States of America and the United States Marine Corps. Although Company C prepares for the final dismissal from Blue Jam, their official training is not over. Soon after graduation, they will report to the School of Infantry in Camp Pendleton, California, where they will continue to be trained to serve as an effective member of the Marine Corps. The intention is to train that everything undergoes is designed to install the fundamental premise that everybody is a rival. to you, the Marines responsible for ensuring the success of the difficult transition you are going to become a Marine. The company commander is Captain Michael C. Seidel. The company first sergeant is First Sergeant Jessica C. Badia. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the company staff of Charlie Company. The next portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring the guy dogs. will now be returned to the drill instructors.
will now be presented a flag by the battalion commander, Lieutenant Colonel Roger A. Hollenbeck, and the battalion sergeant major, Sergeant Major Rashad M. Browning. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold your applause until all undergraduates have been recognized. Present! Art! Order! Art! The honor graduate for Platoon, 1041, and the series honor graduate is Lance Warhol, Mary E. McGrath, from San Diego, California. The honor graduate for Platoon, 1042, is by the first class, Levin M. Gautry, from Richburg, Wisconsin. The Army graduate for Platoon 1043 is Private First Class Drake M. Webb from Salina, Kansas. The Army graduate for Platoon 1045 and the Company Army graduate is Private First Class Owen K. Bonner from Bonner, Missouri. Private First Class Bonner is also the recipient of the Chesley Fuller Award for his outstanding meritorious performance while in recruit training. The Army graduate for Platoon 1046 is Private First Class A.T. Harunza from North Platte, Nebraska. And the Army graduate for Platoon 1047 is Private First Class Gage White from Longview, Texas. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Army graduates of Charlie Company. Company First Sergeant will now give the command to the senior drill instructors to dismiss their platoons. Needless to say, this will be the most welcome command they have received throughout recruit training. 